work on the um, inner child and the last reading. Now, um, this next video is going to be about um, finding ways to heal the inner child without through our guardian figure or parents if they're still around. So I think I might actually try to do the pick a card. sense for her at this moment in particular. So, um, let's see how I'm going to do this. I don't have a ton of crystal dash on myself, but things like that I do, but they're still in boxes right now. So I'm just going to pull a card for each pile. So where's our die spirit? And now this time, please do not Numbers, we only need a few. How many piles should we be doing today, Spirit? Six is so long. Eight is all. Lapis Azuli. Looks like this. Um, so, Spirit, um, in what ways would pile number one find their inner child aside from their parents and character? Interesting. So, we have the Hanged Man, which showed up in the general reading. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Five of Pentacles. So if you like finding your inner child is going to be on the earthly plane. Uh, we have very earth-based cards. Even the Hanged Man, there's a tree in the, in the card. Um, I don't know if it's officially associated with the element of Earth. I'll have to look that up. But we have the Queen of Pentacles. And then we have the Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles in general is kind of like 
on an emotional level, it's worry and anxiety. Um, it's feeling rejected. It's feeling uh, left out in the cold, like that sort of thing. Uh, financially, it means um, going through hardships and like having a lack of money. So there's there's this thing with the inner child sometimes where like if you have a lot of money, like it kind of um, scares you. Um, it's, that came up for me personally in a recent reading that I had. Um, so there could be some fear of success here. Um, even though these cards are laid out this way, I kind of feel like they should be rearranged this way. Um, I feel like the, the being in the Five of Pentacles for you, um, that is holding yourself back. Like, this is holding yourself back. So maybe you try to find abundance in ways that aren't connected to money. That can mean um, having a lot of family and friends. That can mean uh, having a lot of experiences. That can mean doing a lot of things. That can mean, like, whatever that means to you, find ways to have a lot without um, uh, having money, if that makes sense. So try to have like a more um, spiritually inclined life and not so much um, on a, fun, like a materialistic level. I think that could help you immensely in terms of feeling abundant because that's what the Queen of Cups or Pentacles tells me. Um, Five of Pentacles is like a lack of abundance, and um, that perspective like holds yourself back. And so, try to find ways to make up the, that abundance. And then, so, what crystals aside from that besides really do you need? Pile number one. So we have two that fell out, so we're gonna do one, and then. So, interestingly, the quartz fell out. It's a good one in general, but it's for, um, it, it's interesting it fell out because it says, when you find yourself believing the limitations your mind puts in front of you, call on the course to help you see through the illusions, clear the mind of self-doubt, surrender to the will of the universe, and start manifesting the impossible. So I definitely feel like the course is speaking to, to this, this perspective that you're dealing with here. Um, so surrender to the universe. That's a good one. Vena, Vena, the night, which is this crystal, and it's when when it's time to live in the moment. When you are the prime audience for a motivational speech, when, whether it's hard work, making art, or just a blessed out, blissed out moment free from the mind's ongoing commentary uh, and energizing medit meditation with Vena the night and help knock down whatever stands between you and your happy place. So I feel like this crystal combined with this crystal, quartz crystal, can really help block that perspective. Then we have blue calcite. When stress is the enemy, freaking out is not a prerequisite for accomplishment. Deadlines are back sentences. Stress will extinguish your creativity and crush your dreams if you let it. Call on the calming, focused energy of Blue Cow State to remind you to put stress in its place. So I kind of feel like, due to this perspective of the lack of abundance, um, you need to find ways to kind of uh, deal with your stress. Uh, because if you do that, uh, you're going to prevent yourself from becoming the Queen of Pentacles. Then we have Amber, which looks like this. Um, when to use it, when you need a metaphysical hug from the universe, call on Amber's cuddly electric blanket vibes and cozy up. So comfort. Um, so I feel like for comfort, to deal with your stress, you need more comfort. Um, and to deal with your lack of abundance, you need to clear out some energy on the mind and, um, focus on that. And now let's pull, um, some herbs. Oops. That one just came out. So we have four of water, which is mint. I don't, um, so I don't, <laughs> they're all falling out. I don't use the tarot card meanings for these cards. Um, we have golden seal, datura, and let's see if I know what that's No, but let's just pull a fourth one too. Oh, now two have fallen out. 
We have the sunflower and we have cinnamon. So those are your herbs to help you like overcome this lack of feeling of lack of abundance. Um, like I said, I don't know specifically what that lack of abundance can mean for you. I feel like, uh, I, like I said, it can mean anything. Um, maybe you need to create more art so you have um, some something material in your life that you can um, bring into a manifest or something like that. Like I just feel like you need to find abundance in some other form, and that could be a big issue of your person, your own inner child healing. And then for the emotional support and essential oils. We have motivation. So I feel like maybe due to your stress, there could be some lack of motivation there. Um, I don't know where to start is a trigger statement. The true statement is, I take action now. You will find clarity and the ability to create now. This is your time to make things happen. So yeah, for sure. To help with your lack of abundance, find ways to create art. I feel like that will help you. This is really interesting. I have never had to have this happen before. So for the next um, card, we have intimacy. Um, it's an essential oil. And it's, this is too good to be true. It's a true statement. The true statement is it can only get better. Um, hang on, I need to get the charger. I didn't think my computer will design that quickly on me. Um, but anyway, we're all good now. <laughs> um, I think. Yeah, anyway, we're all good now. Anyway, so. We pulled cinnamon twice, and in the herb deck, it's associated with the seven of fire, which I think is interesting, which is seven of wands. So allow yourself to experience more joy and love. Raise your resonance by swimming in the sweetness of life. So we have cinnamon again. So cinnamon for those of you who lack of um, abundance, cinnamon is going to be an important tool for you to kind of clear and attract more. The next one is flow, is the theme. Why are things such a struggle is the trigger statement. True statement is I am in the flow, take a breath here one and allow yourself to feel the flow of life through you. you through your release, your need to do and just be. So there could be a lack of control too. And maybe you need to find control. Or vice versa, maybe you just need to be to find your control, if that makes sense, if there's a lack of control. And this is Arbor, Arbor Vitae. I've never heard of that before, but it's an essential oil. The next one is transmutation, is the theme. Uh, I don't know who I am, is the trigger statement. The true statement is I am. There is no effort required for the shift. Be present and allow every aspect of your being to transform. DNA repair. So I think um, in the general reading, I've mentioned that 
Uh, there could be some ancestral work and DNA repairing definitely kind of points to that. It's kind of like, it's just stuff that we've been going through as um, people over and over and over again and um, as beings and everything related to that. And, um, and that's just life. That's just who we are. So I'm going to pull three or as many charms that come out and see if there's any information. Oh, a lot. So we have the elephant. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and the elephant refers to wisdom and healing. And we have a rose key, I think. Yep, a rose key. So um, I, the rose popped up in the general reading, and it basically means that um, the the inner child stuff takes time to heal, and there could be some um, unlearned aspects of inner child healing that you will uh, come to know of. And the, we have the owl. So the owl also refers to wisdom and learning. We have the starfish. So the starfish has the ability to regrow its legs if um, um, if it's if they've been broken and they're healthy. So the starfish here represents regeneration in that way. So you definitely have the power to kind of overcome these inner child stuff. And then we have a small key here. We had a larger key with the rose, and then we have a smaller key here. So there's definitely still things to unlock and discover and learn about yourself. And I think peace has come up before. Um, let's see. All three, all four of these uh, essential oil cards are all about the need to release and just be. So maybe for some of you, like the lack of abundance is because you're trying to control so much and that you're not letting the universe kind of bring that abundance to you and you're missing out on that opportunity. So the piece is, is just saying, just be, like just be yourself, just be at peace, just be present as much as you can and you will eventually get there. Made with a smile. So I definitely think creating art will help um, your lack of abundance issues. You may even get money from it. There could be some financial um, gain from that as well. So definitely find some sort of creativity that you enjoy. And then we have a fish. So the fish is interesting here. Um, nothing comes to mind right away other than like the Jesus fish, and I'm not entirely sure what it represents at the moment, but if you know what the Jesus fish represents, that's what I feel like this is speaking to. We have the apple. So health could be an issue. Um, like, the, the thing that comes to mind is a doc, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So if you're going through some health stuff that is preventing um, your abundance, uh, really look into that and see if there's a way that you can overcome it. I know health care and health insurance isn't an option for a lot of people, but I, the fact that it came up, I feel like is you can overcome it. And then the flower. Uh, there we go. Uh, I can't see. I had it. I had it. Focus. Springtime could be important for a lot of you who lack of abundance. So if you're looking for a job and um, you haven't or have been applying. Um, spend time to be important for you. Um, so those are 
the charms for this pile. I'm going to go ahead and go into the next pile. So I hope uh, pile number one, you found this helpful in some shape or form. And I will see you in the next video. So for pile number two, we have the ruby. And the ruby is, uh, when you want to show the world you're both beautiful and ferocious, when your sex life needs a heaping teaspoon of spice, when the doldums have you down, reach for a ruby and really, some really red lipstick and come out swinging. So that is your card, or your, your pile, your crystal, and um, spirit. For pile number two, what... Where do they need to look in order to find their inner child again? Fool. Moon. And Nine of Wands. So, if you haven't watched the general reading, I would go look at that because we pulled the Fool. Um, so, the Fool looks like this. The Moon looks like this. And the Nine of Wands looks like this. So, the fool, like I've said before, the fool is all about starting something new. And what I picked up on before is maybe like returning to that childhood wonder um, in some form, finding adventure, finding um, excitement, like any way where you can return to that, I think that can really help, help you in that way. The moon represents like un, uncharted kind of because it's, it's interesting, they are looking, they're navigating on this deck, on this card. So the, the, the two people here, it's like they, they're searching and searching and searching. So I feel like, kind of goes in with event, kind of goes in hand in hand with adventure. I feel like, for pile number two, um, adventure, travel, things of that nature, navigation, um, even the ocean of that specific, I, I heard ocean specifically, uh, boats, things like that, of that nature. I feel like um, having a sense of direction is helpful for you at times, but I also feel like being free flowing uh, and having that sense of um, childlike wonder and adventure, it will also help for you. Like the fool, I feel like the fool in the tarot deck knows where he has an idea where he wants to go because he, he's kind of prepared. Like he has um, clothes and a satchel and he has his dog with him. So that, has, that shows some sense of preparation. So I feel like he has an idea of where to go, but it's just kind of making his way there. Like there's no deadline. There's no any sort of structure or anything like that. The Nine of Wands uh, is interesting. It's like the card of falling down seven times and getting up nine times or something like that. Like, it's that kind of mentality. It's like feeling kind of wounded, feeling kind of, um, like, just not distressed, but like, like you're, you're, you're worn down and you need rest and the universe is forcing you to rest. That's what the nine of wands is. It's like climbing up a steep hill and breathing so hard that you need to stop and rest because you can't go anymore. Like you your physical body is telling you you need to rest. The universe is telling you you need to rest. So I feel like for pile number two, um you need to rest either your mind or your body or your emotions or all three and uh, that will help your inner child a lot. And if you like maybe a vacation somewhere, if that's possible, or um, I'm just getting like resting, adventure, recuperation is the place for you to find your inner child again. And sometimes like for, if you're an artist, like there are opportunities out there for artist retreats or artist residencies where you go and you do your artwork for the month or for an extended time longer than that. And that's like a retreat, that's a period of rest, but you're still working on your, like your, what you're passionate about. Like you're still feeding your soul. Um, so I feel like, I feel like that's something that's like, 
geared towards like the the pile number two. Like if you like the first one was to fix your lack of abundance, um, create more art. But um, the art can mean anything for the pile number one. For pile number two, it's more about focus on what you're passionate about to, to find your inner healing. If you've been always told to um, study medicine, but you want to be a dancer, like maybe now is the time to like focus on your dancing, um, and not so much on what society expects you or what um, your parents expect you of or anything like that. So I kind of feel like that's what this pile is speaking towards. It's like if you are looking for. Um, A way out of something like focus on your passions that's kind of what i'm hearing and that's how you find your inner child again so let's let's pull the crystals and the other cards so we have bismuth which is actually a man-made crystal for those looking for some psychedelic influence Without swallowing a red pill, lie on your back and take ten powerful breaths through your mouth with business placed on your forehead. Then break out of tired gray thought patterns and get in route to a more comfort, energized life. That's really, this fell out, that's really pertinent, pertinent to what I was just saying. Like, if you're tired, which is the nine of wands of where you are, you've been doing the same path for a while now like you need to break out of that like eventually it's going to kill your soul and the inner i feel like for a pile number two the inner child stuff is coming up because you're feeling tired and you need to break out of that and in order to and if you do you'll help heal that inner child um and it looks like this um we have dan bright which looks like this and Danverite is when the daily grind has ground you into the pavement, when you feel the launching of, feel like launching into space, the lack of astronaut training, vibing with dynam Danverite can help you divert your busy mind away from the pesky physics fuel orientation. There's some place somewhere else out there, flip on the high beams and explore. That's what I was just saying. Funny how these cars are of that as well. Um, skull is sight. I think that's how you say it. And it looks like this. Um, when you need it, when you need to use it is when it's time to take your sleep hygiene to the next level. Put down the phone, pick up a book, a paper, sip a chamomile tea, relax slather on lavender oil, and wait for some rapid eye movement. And those streaming messages marked important by your support. So again, rest is a theme here. Um, and the last one is citrine, which is like this. Um, when to use it when it's time to really put your, really, when it's time to really get on your grind, start creating the tomorrow of your dreams today. Yeah, so for file number two, if you haven't acted on a dream yet, I feel like your inner child is calling you to do that. Uh, all these crystals have been just uh, um, basically reinstating, I think that's the right word, um, reinstating um, what you are saying, or reinstating what I'm saying <laughs> um, in terms of like breaking out of the daily grind, going for something that you've always wanted to do, uh, pursue a form of art that you've always wanted to do, but always told no, you can't. Um, things like that, and I feel like that can really help heal your inner child. So let's pull some herbs. So we have three of fire, Calendula. We have Isra, I think, which is the page of Earth, which is Linden. We have Metal. Ace of Earth or Pentacles. And then we have Malo, which is two of water. 
So again, I don't really look at the tarot card meanings for this. I just look at the herbs. Um, now let's pull some charms. I'm interested for pile number two to see like what um, is coming, or not what's coming, but like more information of where to find your inner child again. So, and the, uh, uh, okay, so pull, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We pulled eight charms. So the number eight is all about feeling in control. That could be of yourself, of the situation you're in, of your surroundings, everything like that. Um, so you can look at the meaning of the number eight. So the first one I was drawn to is the tree and the Lynn Marand deck there's a card with a tree on it and it associates with the health organization and um, I kind of I want to say something like maybe for pile number two like maybe they are wounded like the nine of wands um, is a card of being run down, feeling wounded, etc. And maybe for pile number two, some of you are wounded in some way. Maybe you can't, um, maybe you've always uh, done hiking and you've injured your knee and you can't hike anymore. Or um, there's there's something like that, I feel like, going on um, where you are unsure of um, how to get your passion back out there again because something's happened to you. Um, and you you are healing or you're trying to heal or you're not in a place where you can heal but i definitely feel like health is a big issue here um and you definitely need to get that looked at for obvious reasons the oops just dropped this which is the linked hearts so this isn't a um romantic connection. This is more of having a heart to heart with somebody. And maybe it's like a partner, or a parent, or something like that. Maybe maybe your doctor, maybe because of the health issues. Um, maybe like there's something you have to have a heart to heart with somebody um, in order to make this happen. And I feel like you need to just do it. Because if you don't do it, you're going to prevent yourself from living your life to the fullest and pursuing what you're passionate about. Um, I have the paw here. I don't know if it's going to focus. There we go. The paw, um, what first came to mind in association with the five, or the tree and the heart to heart. Is maybe you need some sort of like service animal. Maybe you need some sort of emotional support animal. Maybe you need some sort of animal assistance in order to get you to do what you need to do in life in order to go there. Maybe you enjoy adopting animals. Maybe you enjoy taking care of animals. I just feel like animals are a big part of your life. Maybe that is what you're passionate about. You did have a dog and the pool part here. Maybe animal uh, care to. Uh, being a caretaker of animals is important. Um, I do feel like having a furry friend will help you a lot in terms of your healing and your inner child. So we have the arrow and a heart with love on it. So typically arrows and hearts um, refer to like a match made in heaven by Cupid. That's kind of where it comes from. And so I kind of feel like maybe like it, it kind of goes back to like, um, like I was saying, like maybe the career path you are on right now is not a good match and you need to change or there's something about that that needs to change and, but something is preventing you from doing that. Um, I'm just saying with the heart, that's kind of like what is, for me, that's what it's pointing to. 
Then we have the clover, which is um, a symbol of luck. So I feel like the universe is going to dump some luck on you in terms of all this. Like if you, um, I'm getting, I feel like I'm really getting like a specific like situation coming through here. And I feel like the, the clover is saying like, the universe is going to provide an, a doorway, an opening for you to kind of escape from your current situation. And I kind of feel like um, there is a key here. And I kind of feel like that's what this key is um, pointing to. It's like the, the universe is providing you with a way out and you need to recognize what that doorway is. Um, and it could be with animals, it could be something to do with animals or whatever. We have, um, so the two charms that are left is a pegasi, a pegasus, a flying horse, and a flirtily. Don't know what the actual symbolism of flirtily is, but I know um, it has significance to um, a sorority, like there's a, there's a sorority, Kappa Kappa Gamma. I believe, um, and their symbol is flirtily. So I feel like, um, so my personal association with flirtilies is that, but it's also related to the French um, and anything French. Um, so it can mean finding some sort of like minded social circle that could help you. Um, and that opportunity, I'm not seeing networking, like I'm seeing more of like being surrounded by like minded people. So maybe like finding like a meetup of some sort, um, like something like that, like a fun activity group that you could do with people of your age or whatever. Um, and here's the Pegasus. So what first came to mind, um, without realizing what I've already said is Pegasus or is travel. And I feel like um, with the similar themes, I feel like travel can really help you at this time. Maybe you go on vacation, you meet somebody and like you connect them and they connect you to helping animals and one thing leads to another. Like that's sort of the, the energy I'm picking up. But I feel like you just, the universe is pushing you to get out um, a new situation and I hope what I've said here helps you but I feel like in order to find your inner child you just have to get out that can mean getting out of the house that can mean getting out of your situation that can mean getting out of the country that can mean getting out of state like whatever that resonates to you that is um what you need to do to find your inner child again well I hope you enjoyed this reading um I'm going to go into pile number three now for pile number three you have the diamond when you just got to keep it icy when you want to make your intentions perfectly clear when it's time to be your own unique light through the darkness for all to see own it with diamond shine your brightest so this is how you're gonna find your inner child Interestingly enough, we have the Hermit, so if you, watch, if you haven't watched the general reading, I would do that. We have the Sun, which we also pulled in the general reading. And we have the three uh, pentacles. So if you like for pile number three to find their inner child, they may be kind of a loner. Um, they could be going or maybe they went through something as a as a child and they um they were rejected from like a friendship group or something where it threw them into a period of isolation here um 
like, do you feel like, and you've always been kind of in this isolation, um, so something happened to you when you were younger, and it projected you into this, this sense of isolation. Um, and th these cards to me are pretty clear. It's like isolation, going out into the sun, finding teamwork or community or collaboration. Um, so I feel like for you to find your inner child again, you literally need to go out in the sun and find some sort of activity or project or something in the community, maybe volunteer, where you can find like minds and teamwork and collaboration. I feel like that could really help you. Um, now let's pull some crystals. That was probably the clearest reading of them all. Um, and so hopefully the crystals will give us and the other ingredients will give us a little more information. Oh, we're not doing that because we just pulled that card. <laughs> um, Spirit, uh, what crystals should we be aware of for helping pile number three find their inner child? Funny how spirit works sometimes. I wish you could see my face right now. Because I tried very hard not to pull the ruby and pull the ruby. <laughs> so, when you want to show the world you're both beautiful and ferocious, when you use sex life needs a heaping tablespoon of spice, when the doldrums have you down, reach for the ruby and some really red lipstick and come out to me. So if you haven't seen the general reading, I pulled cinnamon twice. So I feel like cinnamon, again, could help with pile number three um, and pile number two. So pile number two was also ruby, so I would look into pile number two as well. We have serpentine. Uh, when to use it, it's time to let go of tired beliefs and get stuck in. Energy unstuck. A serpentine arrives in your life as an Invitation to rip off all proverbial band-aids and regroup. Hit the sauna, sweat it out, and release all lingering trauma. So that really goes well with the hermit. And it kind of, serpentine kind of looks like the, the light and the, and the lantern. So it's like, you need to just, just release what you've been through in the past because it's preventing you to find the community that you are seeking. Her, her camera diamond? I want to use it when you're reaching for clearer than ever through spirituality, therapy, or healing work. Brush off all those unwanted vibes with perfumer diamond. It looks like this. And quartz. When you find yourself believing the limitations and mind puts in front of you, fall on quartz to help you see through the illusion of clearer than so this course will help you kind of cut through the stuff you've been through. And I kind of like feel like what you've been through in the past um, wasn't necessarily true. So there could be some like rumors spread about you. There could be lies. There could be um, something like a defamation of character. Um, there could be something that hurt you, your ability to see yourself as, like to see what yourself as. Like, it hurt your ability to see yourself in the public eye, like the perspective, your own perspective, things like that. So those crystals will help you kind of clear your mind in that way. Um, let's pull up some herbs. So we have pomegranate. Nine of air. So we pulled another nine card, even though I don't use this deck for the tarot. Our meetings for the Hierophant, and if you haven't seen the general reading, we pull the Hierophant as well. Um, so it's cow, which is hot chocolate. We pulled ten of air and alfalfa. We pulled bee bomb or the two of fire. Now let's pull some crystals. Or not crystals, charms. Yeah. 
So some of the same terms as the last tile. So I would definitely um, look at that tile as well. Um, so what, like I said before, um, the whole second tile, the tree to me represents health. So I feel like you could also be going through some health issues, which may prevent you from opening up to the community more. But I feel like for pile number three, finding your inner child is um, about finding your community again. And you have the guitar. So I feel like some of you might be a musician. Um, and I think, um, what came up in the last pile in pile number two is that they they were stuck in a career that didn't make them happy and they needed to pursue something whether it be like um, um what they're passionate about and right next to each other i kind of feel like for a lot of you some of you might be in the medical field um and you, you have a desire to pursue something that or are passionate about, like music. And I kind of feel like through music you'll find your community again, and I think that will really help. And you have uh, music notes here too, so I feel like uh, music is going to be a big part of your healing and finding your community again. Um, so really kind of look out for that. Um, so this fish, there's a few fish in this set of charms, and there's this one, and there's one that kind of like reminded me of the Jesus fish. This one looks like the rainbow fish from that book, so I would um, reread that book again, the rainbow fish, I think that's what it's called, I can't remember, it's been a really long time since I read that, but that's what came to mind when I saw that, um, and the rainbow, um, the, the, the fact that the rainbow came up to me like, you could be, you might find community and if you're LGBTQ plus um, identifying like you could find community there or you could be one like a supporting member or um, anything like that. Um, if you don't have a pet, um, a cat did show up, so I kind of feel like you might find um, emotional stability with a pet of some sort. Um, the, the, char the feather charm is here, so I feel like um, you will receive some sort of communication, that's what feathers refer to me, surrounding maybe this current issue about your inner child or spirit will be sending you communication. Um, definitely spirit. We have the cross here and we pulled the um with jesus on it we pulled the hierophant so i feel like religion could be an issue here as well um in the sense that it might have influenced your decision to pursue a certain career path or it may have helped you um deal with um this situation here that you went through as a child uh everything like that we have the the, the wheel here and without seeing the the, the cross with Jesus on it what came to my mind was Jesus take the wheel with the wheel and I feel like sometimes you just have to allow the universe to kind of take control of things and to go with the flow rather than trying to control everything yourself through religion um, sometimes we have the desire to control our lives through means of other people in some sense of religion is true like a set of written rules written by somebody years ago whatever or you know so like that sort of thing going to control we have a, a key with um mouse ears so if you haven't looked into uh the meaning like the so the no meaning of mickey mouse ears i think it mean um psychological control so i do feel like there could be some issue with um um, 
upbringing here in terms of how you were brought up, like either like a military background or a religious background or a strict um, educational environment or something like that where it's preventing you from seeing different ways of living. Um, and that's really um, gonna impact your ability to see or heal your inner child. Um, and there are other charms here, but I don't really feel anything in any way to them. There's a peace sign, a bicycle, the fleur de -lis, and a dragonfly. And the other piles of dragonfly is like my symbol for everything's going to be okay, regardless of like what happens. Um, the bicycle is kind of interesting in the sense that it's a form of travel. It's a form of mobility. It's a form of freedom. So maybe you might want to take up something like that where you could just hop on a bike and just go somewhere. Like that sort of thing. Yeah, the other charms I'm not really connecting to. So those are your charms. Um, this reading ended up being a lot shorter than the others. So I hope you enjoyed your reading pile number three. And I hope um, this makes some sense to you. Um, and if you haven't had a chance already, do be sure to read the general or watch the general reading. So for pile number four, you have the opal, which looks like this. And it says, when to use it when you have something that needs to get moving, a project, a relationship, or energetic block. So that's weird. Perfect card for inner healing, in my opinion. Um, and there are plenty of unpolished opals available. You don't have to get something super expensive. Um, these are really good to have for my hand. In fact, I think I might get myself one and wear them wear it on my finger or something. Or a pair of earrings from my second hole. So this is very show pile number four where they can find their inner child again. Yeah, six of wands, strength card which we call the general reading, and Seven of Swords, which we also call the general reading. So um, if you haven't had a chance to yet, be sure to read the general, or watch the general reading, because we have pulled similar cards in all piles. And the general reading, when the Strength and the Seven of Swords came up, um, the Seven of Swords is kind of a karmic number, or the Seven is a karmic number, so it's just a universal stuff that you have to go through as a sense on a sentient being um and something you can't avoid doing or avoid at all strength is um a double-edged sword in the sense that if you are an animal lover being next to a lion is your dream come true if you fear large animals in any sort of way it's um you will be set into survival mode and so the fact that's in the center, center is kind of interesting to me. And the Six of Wands is all about um, ego and, and nurturing that ego. And feeling proud of what you've done and doing all that sort of stuff. So and the fact that's on either side of the lion, which also represents ego, is also really interesting to me. So here it's saying, um, sometimes there's things in life that you can't avoid doing um, that may hurt your ego. And also, if you avoid nurturing your ego, you may hurt yourself. Um, so I feel like at some point you your ego is bruised as maybe a child, um, maybe you were humiliated, maybe um, a parent humiliated you in public, or um, there was some aspect of a bruised ego here is what I'm picking up. Um, so let's go into the crystals and see how we can heal your um, bruised ego.
we had a card fall out and it's orange calcite. So orange calcite is when you want to make something beautiful. Orange calcite's energy is all about breaking through the fog and the fear putting on the path to creation. When you want to add some energy to create a process or take on the Kamu Kama Sutra one page at a time, get the orange calcite's sunk his spot, unlock your creativity. So I feel like due to your bruised ego, you haven't been able to feel creative and or be creative and that is preventing you from finding or feeling your inner child. So we're gonna put that crystal there because it really highlights what the strength is in this reading. I don't know why my like slowly throughout this this reading session and my nose is not being really stuffed up. Um, so I apologize for that. <laughs> You can't make some funny, it's not anything really. So we're gonna pull a few more cards for crystals. The first one that's on top is Jasper. When you want to get back into your body after a stressful week, a long flight or a light meditation session. A metrine. If a deadline is on the horizon, you need a big idea. If you can't decide on something, swipe left or swipe right. Call a metrine to remember. Either way, everything is going to be amazing. Oh. <clears throat> so the light. When you have a big decision to make, when you're 99% finished with the project but can't get your head around the last 1%, don't seriously give up. Meditate with slight abandon solution oriented thinking, surrender to your intuition, and watch your problem get solved from someplace much deeper. Yeah, I feel like all these choices are very. Um, significant in terms of a bruised ego. Um, I definitely feel like I'm, it doesn't have to be creativity. It could just be like expression, like emotional expression. Um, it could be really anything that um, prevents your ability to like take action. So I feel definitely feel like for those who the pile number four needs to um, kind of Heal your bruised ego. Um, you need to find ways to kind of like heal that, and it could be creativity. Like creativity is very, very healing. It's the theme. It's been a theme for all these piles. Is creativity, but um, that doesn't necessarily mean like making art. It can mean like expressing yourself emotionally to somebody. It can mean taking action. It really can mean anything, honestly. So, but cre creativity is the foundation of creation, obviously. So, like, it can mean, it can mean literally anything. It can mean your sex life. It can mean anything surrounding manifesting something into reality. For your herbs, we have wild jewelry. They have nasturtum, nasturtum, I think I can say, six of fire. So we put the six of wands twice. I don't use um, the herb deck as a typical um, tarot deck, but I, I always find it interesting that we pull the same cards again. We have moon, so the detura herb, and we have Ten of Earth or Horse Tail. So those are your herbs to heal your bruised ego. Now I'm going to choose some charms. I'm going to quickly like um, mix these up because we pulled some of the same charms as before.
Okay, taking out, we have the heart. We have Hello Kitty. We have a dragonfly. We have an angel. We have a flirtily. We have music. We have um, art and arrow. We have a turtle. We have tree leaf. We have a leaf. We have mermaid, we have little girl, and we have love, the love sign from Philadelphia. So the heart, so I feel like your Bruce Eos it could definitely be uh, romantic related. Um, I didn't get the vibe from the in the initial three cards, but we have the heart here, we have the love sign here, and we also have heart and arrow here. So I kind of feel like at some point, perhaps someone you were deeply in love with bruised your, your ego, and that's really prevented you from maybe making connections with people and finding other relationships to, to vibe with. Um, be open-minded though because it, you do have the angel here and the angel connects to the universe sending you somebody. So I do feel like once you put through this inner work you will find your match. And I do feel like it's definitely something happened when you're younger. So maybe like going back to like the rumors or whatever. So maybe like for example, somebody started rumors about you that you were dating somebody in high school or even younger middle school and that wasn't true and people made fun of you for about about it. Something like that. Because we have the little girl here and I don't see this as like a future partner. I feel like if it's um a little girl from your past that could have um past issues, um, is there rumors, like a bully, um, we have the dragonfly, which is a personal symbol for me, and it means everything is going to be okay, regardless of, like, what you're going through right now, the tree means health, so I feel like Maybe a situation from your past has affected your health a bit, like maybe sexual health. Um, you have music, so I feel like music could be very healing for you, or you could find your future partner and music. Um, Hello Kitty. Um, in the past, I have associated this with like grand work in terms of career, but we have a cat here, so I feel like it's just reinforcing the strength card. A little bit. We have the turtle, which is still in the steady wins the race. We have the leaf. Or a fern. I can't remember exactly if there's a specific symbol for the fern, but if you know of one, that's what it refers to. And we have the mermaid, which is about fantasies. And also connected to the Queen of Cups, which is master your own emotions. So I do feel like once you've kind of gone through this healing phase of like what happened to you in the past, you will definitely become more in control of your emotions and that will help you heal. And once you do that, you'll find your next partner, which will just be random because it'll be sent from the universe. So I hope you enjoyed your reading pile number three, or I'm sorry, pile number four. Um, be sure to watch the general reading because that will explain everything um, a bit further. And yeah, if you like these videos, 
hit like and if you want to see more hit subscribe my main up to upload days are Wednesdays and Sundays so I'll see you in the next video if this goes up on Wednesday then I'll see you on Sunday